happen. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answer. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. You will not hear that sound this round right here. Don't even worry about that. Trust me, you won't hear that sound. We could have just cleared right through that one right there. Because if you hear that sound right there, I'm diving in the crowd. Uh, are you ready? All right, let's remind everyone of Tanya. Uh, your 25 seconds on the clock. Your clock will start after I read the first question. We asked 100 men, name a part of your body that's bigger than it was when you were 16. Your penis. You need for your cup? Oh, 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 oh,
Johnny Depp. I don't think I really have to explain this one all that much, but it's clear that nobody hates Amber Heard more than Johnny Depp. Because of her accusations, which may or may not be true, Johnny's reputation has taken a huge hit, and it's cost him multiple lucrative acting gigs. The exes are currently in court settling their massive defamation lawsuit. Johnny is suing Amber for $50 million, claiming she lied when she accused him of physically killing her. She's countersuing him for $100 million for defamation, claiming he coordinated a smear campaign against her. A key date in their trial is April 22nd of 2016. On this day, Amber threw a birthday party for herself at their penthouse. Johnny allegedly showed up late and then left, but Amber claims that before leaving, he threw a bottle at her. Then the next morning, Depp got a call from their housekeeper stating that there was poop on his side of the bed. Johnny immediately thought it was from Amber or one of her friends as a way to get back at him. So clearly there's a lot of tension there and hopefully we get to the truth. In at number nine, Winona Ryder. When Amber Heard first came out against Depp, many of Depp's former girlfriends came to his defense against her to support Depp's claims that he was never violent with her like she claimed. Winona and Johnny dated from 1989 to 1993 and the pair were very serious, so much so that everyone was convinced they would get married, although they never did. At the time of the allegation, Ryder made a statement saying in part, quote, from my experience, which was so wildly different, I was absolutely shocked, confused, and upset when I heard the accusations against him. The idea that he is an incredibly violent person is the farthest thing from the Johnny that I knew and loved. I cannot wrap my head around these accusations. Ryder made a point to say her interactions with him may have been different than hers, but in her experience, these accusations are shocking. In at number eight, Javier Bardem. Actor Javier Bardem also spoke openly about Johnny Depp. In his statement, Bardem not only supported Depp, but took some clear digs at Amber Heard. He said, quote, I love Johnny because he is a good human being, trapped in the lies and manipulations of toxic teens, and yet smiling and loving us all in spite of it. How? Through his music, through his acting, through his silence. This means a lot. Thank you, Johnny. Millions of others like me love you deeply. Bardem did not only want to share how loving and caring that Johnny Depp is as a person, he also wanted to add that Depp is trapped in the lies and manipulations of toxic beings. It doesn't take much to put two and two together. Clearly, the toxic being he's referring to is none other than Amber Heard. Chris Jenner. Believe it or not, the Kardashian clan used to be super close to the Smith family, particularly because Chris's kids got along super well with James and Will's kids. In fact, Kendall and Jaden are still super close, but we never see the adults hanging out anymore. It's very likely that their friendship didn't survive the whole famous Khloe Kardashian, Tristan Thompson, Jordan Woods love triangle in 2019. After Jordan was exposed for making out with Khloe's ex Tristan, Jada decided to have Jordan on her talk show, Red Table Talk, to reveal her side of the story. The interview featured a ton of sympathy for Jordan as she said her piece about what went down. Jada and Will have known Jordan since she was born because her father worked on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Apparently, after the allegations came to light, Jordan came to Jada asking for help. Quote, I just wanted her to have a platform to tell her story. That's it. She's a young, beautiful woman inside and out, and me having been a young girl, we sometimes get into situations that we don't necessarily know how to handle. It's likely that all this sympathy towards Jordan led the Kardashian matriarch to cut ties with Jada, as they were never seen getting close after the incident. Promptly after the interview, the Jenners and the Kardashians all unfollowed Jada and Will on Instagram and vice versa. That being said, they still let their kids hang out as Jada was spotted at Kendall's infamous controversial 2020 birthday bash. And at number six, Vanessa Parody. Johnny's ex-wife, Vanessa Parody, who he has a good relationship with, also came forward to defend him. Depp and the French star met on the set of Roman Polanski's film, The Night Skate. 